This is probably the toughest video I've ever made. You might think the toughest video I ever did was where I was standing right in this position here and talked about how bad my anxiety was. And at the time, that was the toughest video I ever made. And certainly I can understand if you thought when I told you about my diagnosis, that seemed like the toughest video that I would have ever made. And that was a really tough one to make, but honestly, none were tougher than the one I'm about to make right now. Right here with you, okay, buddy? And the reason why this video is so difficult is because um, tomorrow I start chemo and uh, I'm going to video how that is and the emotion behind it but the reason this is so hard is because I know that starting tomorrow life is changing you know I don't know how I'm going to react to it I don't know how I'm going to tolerate it and I don't know how much it's going to change my life but the one thing I do know is that uh, every day I wake up, I look forward to coming in and spending time with you guys and, and of course filming with the crew and uh, and I know there's going to be days where I'm not going to be here. I've always wanted this positive, upbeat message, inspiration and I know some days I'm not going to be here to give that to you but know that I'm going to continue to try to inspire others and fight hard and I'm not giving up on my dreams and I'm not giving up hope either. On those days I'm not here I continue to ask you to support this crew and to support Noah and Jay and Mike and Connie and when Lori is here although Lori's going to be with me most of the time taking care of me when I can't take care of myself. Obviously Jessica and, and everyone else. I have so many mixed emotions about chemo. I mean I'm terrified right? I mean I don't want to do it. Nobody would. I worry about, you know, am I strong enough mentally, physically? How I will I react? I don't want to lose who I am. I don't want cancer to define me. I want to still be that animal loving guy that tries to inspire others to follow their dreams. And uh, I'm going to miss you guys so much on those days that I'm not here. I mean, this has been my life for six years, you know, six years every day. And uh, I pray it's only going to be a couple days where I won't be able to be here. And the rest of the days, I'll be here. You know, I've got two week treatments. So every two weeks, I get treated. I pray that the way it works, I get beat up maybe for a couple days where I don't feel good. And then maybe a couple days where I feel really bad. I mean, hopefully, maybe not even that. Then I hope I start feeling better and that I have eight, nine days of feeling good enough to be here. And then hopefully, I'll feel myself. I don't know. I've never been through it. It's the scariest thing you could ever imagine, you know? And I want you guys to remember me as the guy that I've always been, not uh, a chemo patient, and that scares me too. It scares me that you guys will see me probably lose my hair or I'll cut my hair off. I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, I'll probably lose weight. And I don't, I'm, I'm, t I'm scared that you guys will be afraid to watch because instead of bringing you this like positive, inspirational, animal loving message, will you guys be watching thinking like, you know, Brian looks terrible. He looks like he's going to die. And I don't want you guys to think that. It's about fighting, you know? And I'm fighting on every level I can, you know? I'm trying to get to the point where I can uh, survive this thing. I know the odds suck. I get it. But listen, you know, there are people that beat it. And I, I know your prayers and your messages inspire me to fight hard to beat it. But like I said, it scares me. I don't, I mean, I don't want to come in and, and shoot a video and have you guys sad to watch it. Like, I'm sure this is not exactly a happy video. I don't want it to be that way. I want you guys to have fun and I want you guys to love this stuff. My whole mission in life is to love animals, you know, and to get you to love animals and get everyone in the world to love animals and in particular animals that people are afraid of like sunrise, you know, the snakes and, and, and lizards and spiders. And I pray that doesn't change, you know. That's the scariest thing about this journey I'm about to embark on. And I'm sorry I'm being a crybaby, but I don't want to change who I am. You know, that's the scariest thing. Like the things that have mattered to me since I was a little baby. I don't want to change that. I want to be the same guy. And I don't know if it will change. I hope it won't. I pray it won't. I don't know. You know, and everyone you talk to, some people gives you scary, like, oh, you're screwed. And some people give you like, oh, you're going to be fine. And I don't know. 
I don't know. There's things that they call chemo brain, which means that, you know, the chemo can like mess your brain up and you can be in foggy and not quite yourself. That scares me because I just want to be myself. I'm trying to show you guys that I can follow my dreams and build an aquarium and make a legacy even in the face of something as horrible as what I'm going through. But will I mentally be able to do it? I hope so. You know, I've got a team around me that's amazing, and they love me, and they believe in me, and they'll, they'll go to war for me. So are we going to achieve that dream? Yeah, we're going to achieve that dream. I tell you, Lori came to me this morning, and she's been scared too, you know, you can imagine. And she's been back and forth like, I don't know, maybe this aquarium is too much, you know. And then she's like, okay, let's do it, let's, you know. And she came to me this morning and said, I'm so sorry that I... I even doubted that we should do it. She said, this is your dream and I want to be behind you. And I know she loves it too. She wants it as bad as I do. And she just said, I'm sorry that I should have never ever doubted you. Yo, it's my family. It's the people around me. It's the millions of people over the life of that aquarium that we will reach that matter to me. I'm going to do the best I can do to be there for it. About five out of a hundred people can make it three to five years. Now granted, the vast majority of them have had surgery to remove the tumor. I'm not so lucky, but I'm still saying five out of a hundred. You know? I don't know why I can't be one of those five. I just gotta work as hard at this as I've worked at anything and to have the support with my family, my friends, and all of you makes it so much easier. To be honest with you, I almost feel guilty I feel guilty because I know there are people out there right now that have the same prognosis that I have, whether it's lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, brain cancer, and they don't have what I have. They don't have the resources. They don't have the love. They don't have the support. They don't have all of you people praying for me and wishing me well. And I feel terrible for them. I think about them all the time. I think about how could they possibly get through without having all the things that I have. And I feel guilty that I am lucky. I'm so blessed to have what I have. And I'm gonna miss you guys on the days I'm not here, but I'm gonna do the best I can do to be here as much as I can. Even if I feel like crap, as long as I can get out of bed, I'm gonna be here. I want my life to be as normal as possible for as long as possible, but I'm terrified. And I've gotta be honest, I've always been genuine with you guys. I'm terrified. I always said I would never do chemo, and here I am a day away from starting. But the reason I'm doing it is because I want to fight and it gives me my best chance to fight. So I just want you guys to know how much I love you and how much you meant to me and how you changed my life. You've allowed me to live my dream and it's been an amazing life. And I pray that it's far from over. I pray that I'll be here three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. I can't wait till the video. I literally visualize the video in my head me telling you guys, guess what? I just had a scan and I'm cancer free. I visualize it in my head every day. That's gonna be the best video I ever made. This is the hardest video. That's gonna be my favorite video I've ever made. And I want you guys to believe it too, because I need it. The journey is just beginning and it's far from over. And I hope that we'll have plenty of good times together in these coming months and years. But I also know there's going to be some tough times. And honestly, I guess I need to know from you guys too. Like, how are you going to feel when you see me looking frail and, and I've got no hair, no eyelashes, no eyebrows? Is it going to make you feel bad? Because if it does, I don't want to be there. I, if it makes you feel better to not have me there then I might have to make that decision, but I don't know. Maybe you guys want to see no matter what. I just want to do what's best for you guys and for everybody around me. I'm going to miss you guys so much on those days I can't get out of bed or I can't come in. I can't imagine it. But I know the crew's going to do a good job. They're going to entertain you. They're going to educate you. Noah's growing as a man. He's going to learn. He's going to take you along that journey of learning. And they're going to come up with fun ideas and things that make you smile. And, and they're going to make me proud. I know they're going to make me proud. And I hope that you'll be proud of them as well. I hate that I had to make this video. And I hate that I had to be a downer today. I hope your days are amazing. I really do. And I know you all feel bad for me. But remember, you don't have to pity me. You know, you could just 
treat me normal, you know, treat me like the animal guy that I am, and I'll always be. One way or another, we're going to get through this. And I'm blessed to have found the things in life that I'm so happy about and I get to love. Most people never get to do what I do. So I'm very, very, very blessed. More blessed than almost anyone I know. So that's it, guys. I love you. Wish me luck with the chemo. Like I said, I'll take you guys along tomorrow when we're at the, the hospital getting the first chemo. And hopefully I'll leave feeling okay. We'll see that journey. So I'm not going away yet. And hopefully if I'm lucky, the next day I actually have Greg, the pond guy in, coming in with Ed, the pond professor in our COO and we're meeting about across the street and what they're going to help with. And I'm praying I'm going to feel up for being in that meeting. You know, if I'm not, then Noah and, 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 and the team is going to have to do it without me. And they know that I might not be here, but I pray that the next two days you'll see me, unfortunately, getting chemo. And hopefully the next day you'll see me here um, planning the aquarium with Aquascape, Greg the Pond Guy, and Ed the Pond Professor. I love you guys. You have a good day, and I'm so sorry for being a downer today. I was dreading this day, but here we are. So, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Love you, man. Love you, big brother. I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's okay. I'm here for you, okay? I know you are, and I love you so much, man. Love you, too.